We spoke to the people who made Palm Royale, the brand new show on Apple TV+. Plus. Check out our conversation with showrunner Abe Sylvia and executive producer Katie O'Connell Marsh. I was wondering, I've got a question for the both of you. If you could speak, and this may seem like a heavy question to get into, but the appeal of characters like Maxine, because we like them and they aren't necessarily the nicest of people and they keep popping up every few years, right? I mean, from The Great Gatsby to White Tiger to Saltburn, in a sense, the talented Mr. Ripley, why do we like them so much? We are supposed to like them, right? (laughs) Yes. Well, the, the idea that everybody is on a quest for identity and acceptance. I think an underdog is always imminently rootable. And I think, you know, when you have uh, an actress with the charisma and the, un- the unique skill sets of Kristen Wiig, where she it's impossible for her to be unlikable, even if she's doing unlikable things, that there's a deliciousness to that. And I think there's a little part of us that is jealous of what these characters can get away with. Um, because they're iconoclastic, and uh, uh, I think that's the that's the fascination. These these characters go where the the rest of us dare not, and I think there's some there's some real delight in that. And I think you know Maxine is so optimistic. She believes in love, so she's driven by these sort of pure thoughts and relatable thoughts. And the way she goes about them sometimes can be um, wild and fun. And on the other characters, on the other ladies through the course of the season, they're really dimensionalized and we'll see their highs and we'll see their lows. And we see those vulnerabilities that I think make even those characters that would seem unrelatable or unlikable or what what have you into real human characters that have the same vulnerabilities and foibles as anyone. Abe, in your mind, when you were writing this and working on this, were there parallels between Maxine Simmons and say Tammy Faye Baker. Oh gosh, that's an interesting question. Well, I think I uh, I love sparkly women as characters. I love women who are donning a fantastic look. I think those are some similarities. You know, women who have a performative aspect to their lives. I always find really fascinating. They're very, very different characters, obviously, but I think there is an essential attraction that I I clearly have to female characters like this. Katie, I was speaking to John just now, and he told me about how you guys landed Carol Burnett, and I was wondering if there was a story or a similar story about Ricky Martin. You know, I I often say, you know, when you're casting a show, the very first step is we as producers, you know, you write a list of the characters and then you have your dream choice and you don't usually get your dream choice. And then you go from there. And I will say, you know, we all had watched Ricky and Versace and he's such an amazing actor. I mean, he's a global sensation, but as a, as a pure actor. And so um, he was somebody that, you know, we all wanted and, and, Abe and Tate uh, met with him. There were some connections there um, outside of the show that that sort of helped that along. And we were just so fortunate to, uh, for him to want to join the the team and for Abe and, and Tate to talk to him. And, you know, he really is in some ways the heartbeat of the show, the soul of the show. And what he brought to that character is in some ways really unexpected in the best ways. And I, and I think what's great about Ricky Martin, and, and, and this doesn't happen often, because a lot of the time you see superstars like this and you go, oh, look, it's Ricky Martin. But you don't get that. Like, you forget as soon as he comes on screen, he's an actor and he's doing his thing. And at no point did I go, oh, look, it's Zendaya. You know, like that sometimes keeps popping into my brain when I'm watching things. I'm all out of time. But, you know, uh, congratulations on the show. It, it was such a blast. I didn't know what I was getting into it. I read nothing before going into it. And... I had a great time. So thank you so much. Thank you. Your enthusiasm you. excites us. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Palm Royale is now streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Sound off in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.